Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's close. Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do that. Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing Yoshi's Island Cavern Brutal Easy by Nadict00 or Nintendo Addict, a streamer and content creator here on YouTube Gaming. I have played this level before, it's been quite a while now, so probably going to need a little bit of a refresher. I've played the Brutal version of this level as well, uh, a lot more recently than I've played the Easy version. But if you're not familiar with these, what Nintendo Addict does is he creates a brutal level, which is just super, super hard. And then he also makes a brutal easy version of some of those levels, which is basically the same level, but it's just got some quality of life adjustments that make it quite a bit easier to play through. So once I get done playing the easy version, assuming I can actually make it through, we might take a look at the brutal version as well, just to see. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, dang it. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. So far, so good. I think we're doing pretty well for our first attempt here. I love this. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I love that obstacle. You're supposed to do this and wall jump down, but instead I just botched it all out, so. Different strokes, right? See a checkpoint. If I could just make it over to the checkpoint, we'd be golden. That mushroom may actually hurt me more than help me going through here. I don't know. All right. One more try. There we go. Made it. Made it like it was nothing. So now we have to hit this P-switch. Oh, dang it. <laughs> and get over here, and we've got a checkpoint. And a shellment, wow. That was pretty good. Nintendo Addicts, d well, all right then. Nintendo Addict does one thing, I think, better than anybody else. And that is make a lot of great use of a little bit of space. And Nintendo Addict is capable of making such intricate designs within levels and utilizing every inch of space if he needs it. And he also doesn't really overcrowd things either. But in addition to all of that, his levels are just so... Can I? Nope, I can't. His levels are just so dependent on just knowing how to play the game well. There aren't really a lot of advanced mechanics at work here or anything like that. The only thing that you're really challenged by is just making jumps happen. And if you can make the jumps... Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. But if you can make the jumps, then you can do the level. And making the jumps isn't something that you have to, like, learn how to do specifically. It's just, uh, with practice, you can do it. So I always feel like every one of Nintendo Addict's levels is at least possible for me based on my skill level. And I really think they're almost possible for anyone if you take the time to just, well, take your time. And I also love doing that jump right there. Nintendo Addict uses that in a lot of kind of strategic ways, but this little twirly jump where you duck, jump, and then twirl, I love it. Like right here, you pretty much have to do the duck jump there, I think. Oh, we made this really hard for ourselves, but we still made it with a duck jump and a twirl. But if I had to choose one creator's levels to play probably forever <laughs> in uh, Super Mario Maker, it would be Nintendo Addicts because I think that they're just so based in skill and nothing else. They just constantly impress me every time I play them. 
Oh, I forgot about the section. Oh, I'm gonna lose everything. Oh, that was a mess. So you can get in there and get out without <laughs> getting hit at all. I just didn't do that very well. I may have left something undone in there too. Oh no! All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Can one shot this, do it. One shotting is what you call it when you die like 15 times and have to keep going back to the checkpoint, right? Right, with good editing it's a one shot. But, alas. All right, so this is another really cool section on this level, if I remember correctly. So the point here is that... Uh, so, as I was saying before, I love this uh, little section right here. And again, this is another way that Nintendo Attic just uses the space that he has really well. This is a little confined area. And the point is to get bob -ombs from the left and kick them over to the far side to blow up all these blocks. But you have the saws going around, and you got the bob bombs coming out, and it's just kind of hectic. Even though it's a tiny little area, and it doesn't really seem like there's much going on, it's just hectic enough that it's kind of nerve-wracking. Here's another amazing challenge. Uh, the kind of stuff that Nintendo Addict excels at is making challenges where you just have to take your time and kind of think. And uh, admittedly, I'm not great at that kind of stuff, but I do love these levels just for the uniqueness of it. Oh, I'm screwing everything up. What am I doing? Dang it. I have to th keep throwing bob bombs in there to knock out some of that tower. Now I can get through there. Take this bob bomb, put it right here, and then in the pipe. Sweet. I thought that was going a lot worse than it ended up going. Now we get a Yoshi, the Nintendo Addict's signature Yoshi. I don't remember if I have to... Yeah, okay, so there's a P-Switch down there. Uh, and the whole point of most of these brutal levels that Nintendo Addict has is driving the player to these P-Switches and then forcing the player to go a lot quicker than they would like to through some really tough sections. So in the easy version, it's not really as... Um, as crazy. Oh no, I'm gonna lose my Yoshi! Ah, I lost my Yoshi. Okay, so now we have to get back down there without Yoshi, hit the P-switch, and then do that run up to the top again. Sans Yoshi. Oh, it took a little too long there. But I made it. Good deal. Here we get a mushroom. Oh, I love these jumps. Love it. And again, I don't know anybody who's as good at doing this as Nintendo Addict is. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. There we go. We made it through. It is possible to keep your Yoshi through the whole thing, and then if you have Yoshi here, you can finish the level now. Uh, but since we don't have Yoshi, we have to go up this way instead. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but I think since we have our power up... Oh no. I spoke too soon. Okay, if we can just make this jump, let's do it the safe way. There we go, and we finish the level. So that is the easy version of this level. Now we're going to check out the regular brutal version of the level, which is considerably harder. So right off the bat, we don't have a star here at the beginning. And then we have this awful jump right here, where you have to ground pound down to keep from going headfirst into the spikes. I don't think I've ever cleared a brutal version of a level from Nintendo Addict, but this is the one that I've come the closest to clearing on multiple occasions. That was pretty bad. I shouldn't have 
spin jumped there. I should have done a little twirly jump. Shouldn't have spin jumped there either. It's going pretty well though. So, so far, I'm sure you can see there's a lot of differences between the easy version and the regular brutal version. Uh, most of the differences are just the placement of items and things like that. Um, in the easy version, you know, we already had a star by this point. I think maybe we had a mushroom when we were coming back. Uh, the placement of the saws was different in this section right down here. There was a lot of stuff that was different. We're doing okay, but this next section is gonna be really, really tough. We have to hit that P-switch and then run all the way back. Oh, and I lost my shelmet like a doofus. We'll give it one more try just to see what happens. If we can make it to the first checkpoint, I would con consider continuing. Nope, we're done. That's it. Gotta love those levels from Nintendo Addict. I want to take a minute to thank our supporters on Patreon who got to see this video early thanks to their support of BTG. Now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then check out some other awesome videos we've done. Take care, guys.